Hey guys, it's Friday. That's always pretty exciting. Um, we got some good GPPs tonight, and um, you know, just being Friday off for the weekend, very nice. And Friday and Saturday, Sunday, awesome days for MLB DFS, in my opinion. Lots of stuff to watch all day. Uh, anyway, let's get right to the slate, because it's a big 15 game one. I'm going to try to keep this video moving along quickly for you, especially because I'm pretty late in the day. <laughs> um, so, uh, two guys I like a catcher. I liked Russell Martin, but he didn't make the lineup. He was probably what I thought would be the chalk catcher for sure. Um, but I still like uh, Contreras against uh, uh, Nelson. 3.9 on DK, 3.2 on FanDuel. Um, I think he can do pretty well against Jimmy Nelson, who's been kind of... He's been good, but but not that good. Um, and then we got uh, Mike Zunino. I mean, I'm a fan of paying down catcher, and he's only 2.4 on DK, 2.3 on FanDuel um, against Estrada. He's a guy that's shown a ton of power um, and just a good hitter in in general. And uh, his splits against right-handed pitching are pretty good. So I'm I'm a fan. I'm on that train right now. First base, I mean, you got to mention the Red Sox and uh, David Ortiz. He's really expensive on DK, you know, 5.5 there. He's 4.5 on FanDuel. It's a little bit easier, but, you know, I mean, with the lower cap, it's still still pretty tough. Um, but I really like uh, Chris Davis against Trevor Bauer. I think he can uh, do some damage to, uh, to Bauer, who's not anywhere near as good against left-handed uh, batters as he is against righties. Um, Crush is only 3.6 on DK and a little bit more expensive at 3.7 on uh, on FanDuel, so I don't love that, but still still a good play I think. Um, and then if Kenny Vargas gets in the lineup um, against uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, you're probably going to hear me say a number of uh, guys against him because I like the Twins today a good bit in uh, in Fenway against this guy who's been uh, below average at best. Um, Vargas is more of a, of a fan duel thing. He's 3.7 on DK. I mean, I can't imagine paying 3.7 for Kenny Vargas when I could pay 3.6 for Chris Davis. Like, just no. Uh, but he's 2.8 on fan duel, so that definitely merits consideration. I'm not going to lie, second base is going to be a tough one for me today, because I'm absolutely in love with Brian Dozier uh, against Erod in this matchup. He's expensive on uh, on DK, which is where I play most of my volume at 4.9. Um, he's a little bit cheaper on, on FanDuel at 4.0, with the factoring in the different caps. Um, but the really tough thing about it is Daniel Murphy has like an equally amazing, if maybe not even better, matchup against Perdomo. Uh, and I expect him to be the chalkiest of chalks. Uh, he's also 4.9 on DK. So Dozier, you know, is a really nice pivot there. I still, at the moment, am planning on Dozier in my head-to-heads. If you happen to be taking me on, I guess. <laughs> Some little tidbit for you. Uh, but I may, I may change that to Murphy because it's just an insanely good matchup for him. And I expect a lot of people to have him, so it would, I mean, kind of a block play, but it's not that I th don't think Murphy will have a good game. It's more just that I'm enamored with Dozier's good game. And Murphy's only 3.6 on FanDuel, so it's even cheaper that, than, uh, than Dozier there. I mean, I expect him to be, like, at least 60% in, in FanDuel 50-50 uh, kind of stuff. At least he should be, anyway. <laughs> Going back to picking on Erod, I'm all over Sano. Uh, 4.1 on DK, not a third baseman on uh, on FanDuel. Um, and then, uh, you know, if you got money, well, for DK, he's cheap on FanDuel. Too, way too cheap. Uh, Jake Lamb is just a baller. He uh, destroys right-handed pitching. The Reds pitching is not great. The Reds bullpen is worse than that. Um, and Straley is not going to, like, offer much of an impediment to him. 5.4 on DK. He's appropriately expensive. And he gets the Great American home run part. Um, and 3.5 on FanDuel is just, like, way too cheap. So kind of a hard balance there. Um, but I also, you know, I like to know, like I said, and if you really need value, um, I kind of like uh, Connor Gillespie against Tanaka. Tanaka, you know, not a bad pitcher by any means, but, uh, you know, no, no Kershaw. I'm so sad Kershaw. Um, 3.0 on, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on DK and the 2.5, a really cheap price there on FanDuel. Um, so if you absolutely must have savings, I think that's the guy to do it. But on FanDuel, what are you doing? Get on Jake Lamb. On DK, try hard to get on Jake Lamb. <laughs> 
Manny Machado, still not a shortstop on FanDuel, but uh, he is underpriced on uh, DK and shortstop eligible against Bauer. He's only 3.7. I think he matches up with Bauer pretty decently, even though Bauer gets a whole lot of ground balls out of right-handed uh, batters. I still think that Machado is a good bet to to give you a return on that, on that salary. Um, and then back to the Erod picking on uh, Nunez, um, Erod, and the catcher. I forget if it's I forget if it's Leon or, or Hannigan, but both of them had negative ratings. Are bad at holding runners. Um, I would not be at all surprised if Nunez swipes a base or two. 5.1 on DK kind of reflects that. Uh, 3.5 on FanDuel, in my opinion, does not. I think he's a really, really solid play there. And, you know, I love the Twins on DK, too. It's just uh, pricing makes them more of a, of a tournament option, maybe. I don't know. Depends on uh, how your pitching works out. You know, I haven't really said much about uh, much about cores today. Uh, you know, there's those options there too. You know, there's Descalso over at first base or second base on FanDuel, and um, you know, there's there's Hundley at, at catcher. I, I think if it's Walters, I'm way more interested at catcher. By the way, but anyway, some of the guys that I'm most interested in are Cargo and Blackman, and they are you know really expensive, especially on DK. Uh, Five point four for um, uh, Cargo on on DK, and I must have written this down wrong, because I have 3.7 for Blackman, but I'm pretty sure it's 4.7 for Blackman. So they're, so they're both in the range. I think I might like Blackman more uh, there today, just because um, of the, the pricing difference, and I don't, you know... I mean, I don't know. I chose chose Cargo yesterday, and it worked out, despite the, the pricing difference. Uh, but, you know, Blackman had a nice game, too, just not as nice. Um... Still, anyway, on FanDuel, um, they are uh, Cargo is 3.5 and Blackman's 4.0, so there for me, it's quite clearly Cargo. Um, I'm really excited to find that Adam Duvall's price is down against a right-handed pitcher against whom he excels. Um, 3.8 uh, against Bradley on DK, 3.6 on FanDuel. Um, I, I love Adam Duvall. He strikes out a lot, so keep that in mind, but I will probably be playing him. Um, getting back to the, uh, the, the <coughs> Erod hate, um, we got Kepler, uh, 4.1 on DK, 3.0 on FanDuel, um, you know, I am a little bit biased towards Kepler, because I was on him on that three home run day, and he made me a lot of money, uh, but I still think he's a good player, and he's a, got a great matchup here against, uh, Erod, despite it being, uh, lefty-lefty. And then there's also Sano, particularly for, uh, for FanDuel, where he's only an outfielder, um. You know, he's third base eligible on DK. I'd probably go with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Sano is 3.4 on uh, FanDuel, so nice price there for sure. And I probably don't even have to mention him, but uh, just in case, Mookie Betts is uh, a good play anytime you can fit him. 5.2 on DK, 4.1 on FanDuel. The guy's just on an insane tear. The Red Sox are on an insane tear in general. Uh, you know, he's not my favorite of plays tonight, but I kind of expect him to be popular, and that worries me with a block. But then I don't predict these things very well. So, anyway, uh, we're having an expert chat in a little bit here, so we'll work out some of these extra thoughts and ideas during that, and uh, come on back for our written content later, and all that kind of fun stuff. Sorry for the lateness, but hope the video has uh, helped you out with your cash game cornerstones for today. I am Steve. This is Slurve. Slurve.com. Free to sign up and come chat with us at the tailgate. Good luck tonight, guys.